know that a Senate committee has recommended Australia's temporary migration system major overhaul? A Labour-chaired Senate committee has proposed major changes to the temporary migration system to resist exploitation and address labour shortages. For detailed information watch this video till the end, and yes, like and share the video, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Warm welcome from Brain Drain Consultants to our immigration information and news channel A to Z Immigration Updates. Australia has been urged to scrap the 88-day backpacker, slave, rule as part of a major overhaul of temporary migration. A Senate committee on Wednesday handed down 40 recommendations aimed at fixing the system. The two-year inquiry received 131 submissions and uncovered significant evidence of wage theft and exploitation in sectors with high levels of temporary migrant workers. Under the recommendations, the 88-day work requirement for backpackers to be eligible for a second-year visa would be scrapped. Australia has agreed to dump the requirement for British backpackers as part of a free trade deal. Labour Senator and Committee Chair Raf Chikoni said the slave measure should be abolished across the board. Senator Ciccone told Parliament that he wants the working holidaymaker visa restored to being about cultural exchange rather than labour. Those who spoke to their committee told them that they were fed up with report after report, band-aid solutions and a lack of systemic improvement. The report calls for a major funding boost for the Home Affairs Department to ensure more timely visa decisions. Australia's quarantine capacity for seasonal workers would be increased and two Pacific labour schemes improved to address farm labour shortfalls. Employers caught exploiting workers would receive bans from employing temporary migrants. A small claims tribunal would be established to deal with wage theft and visas extended until cases were resolved. The report also recommends a legally binding firewall between the Fair Work Ombudsman and Home Affairs to protect whistleblowers and temporary migrants who report exploitation. He said temporary visa worker exploitation, wage theft, physical abuse and sexual harassment was documented throughout the inquiry. Farm labour shortages, visa approvals taking years and regional communities suffering from the effects of transient workforces were also highlighted. Senator Ciccone said the recommendations were not partisan and urged the government to seriously consider measures which would lock in future prosperity. The report also recommends a new body of government, industry and unions to identify and address skill shortages. Unions would be authorized to conduct audits on businesses suspected of exploiting workers. We hope you appreciate our efforts to provide important and accurate immigration information. Please share your feedback and suggestions in the comments section. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel to show your support and yes don't forget to press the bell icon. Thank you for watching, and we hope to see you again soon with another video. If you need any further assistance or want to discuss anything related to your immigration dreams, then you can book an expert consultation session with our team of registered migration consultants.